Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, check functioning of the exhaust gas recirculation control unit at this 560 SL. Let us start right after introduction. They have mounted two different systems in 107 and 126 models. They changed the systems in August 87 and deleted the auxiliary vacuum operated control valve using an electronically controlled component starting in September 87. From September 87 onwards without the vacuum operated control valve. This one here is from after August 87, therefore without the vacuum operated component and how to check its functioning is today's topic. This chart shows the circuit with vacuum operated control valve until August 87. This shiny goldish component is the ETR valve, usually kind of silverish in color. I just painted it, please see drop down at your right. This vacuum line leads to a thermostatic operated valve and another metal line leads to the exhaust manifold. We are checking functioning of both components. Start with disconnecting the vacuum line from the EGR. We will need it later on, but not now. Just sticking on an adapter, connecting it to the port, start pumping and pretending that an impulse came from the bridged thermostatic control valve. Keep pumping. Well, it made click, but you probably did not hear that. I'll do a close up and try again so you can hear a click when the plunger inside is moving. I start pumping now. You have all heard that click, no? If now I release, the vacuum is fading and it will click again. Have you heard it? No clicking? Then this component must be unbolted, dismantled and cleaned. Did you all notice I was altering vacuum to make the plunger open and close? I made the plunger to open and allowing burnt gases from the manifold to the battle plate. Entering the combustion chamber without oxygen to burn the fuel. And the engine was almost stalling with rough idle in constant revs. Therefore this component is working nicely. Otherwise unbolt and clean it. We now check on the thermostatic control valve. Here are your options. EGR stuck open, allowing unmetered fumes without oxygen from the exhaust entering the combustion chamber again. Bad performance, rough idle. That's it. EGR stuck closed due to clogging, combustion temperature is way too high, pre-ignition, failed emission test and engine knock. EGR cleaning, no problem, carbon deposits, sot can be removed easily. Please see drop down on the right hand side. Component number 9T has been deleted. It was an auxiliary vacuum control valve. They don't need it anymore and replaced it with an electronically unit now. This thermostatic valve is sitting right here. 
So this reddish blackish vacuum line leads from the ETR to the thermostatic controlled valve right here. For better visibility I have put the line above the idle control unit simply for you to see it better. From this point of view this blackish line leads back to the ETR. Please see drop down at your left hand side. We now disconnect the hose leading to the EGR and bridge it with my vacuum pump. Product informations are in the link below. Keep pumping. Component must hold vacuum because temperature of coolant is below 50 degrees Celsius. With some bimetal inside it may only open a valve when temperature of coolant reaches 50 degrees Celsius. I keep pumping. Component holds vacuum. Engine running. Heating up. When 50 degrees Celsius are being reached, valve must open up. See what I mean? Valve is opening, vacuum is gone, coolant has reached some 50 degrees Celsius, component working nicely. If you grant yourself to the utmost luxury to get a Bosch testing unit straight from the 80s for better visibility, using this fancy backward device for all vacuum jobs I do, you can bridge the ports, change parameters, I just love it. But a generic hand pump will do the job as well. A little demonstration, see what I mean. Cannot create a vacuum with the thermostat when coolant has reached a 50 degrees Celsius. Vacuum not avail. Now let us wait till temperature of fluid falls below 50 degrees Celsius and then the valve is closing allowing to create a vacuum. Thermal imager. Fancy stuff. Water pump seems to be the hottest component. This is product placement at its best. Made a test on this camera. Very good product for doing a diagnosis in such a manner. Let us check again. 40 degrees at the thermostatic valve means valve has closed. Let me do some pumping. Have a look at the gauges. Valve holds vacuum. Fine. If I now fire up the engine, valve will open up at some 50 degrees Celsius, working nicely. What did we got done today? We have checked two components. Hoses and pipes were tight. Checked them with thermal influence and vacuum. Noted that one component was obsolete in August 87 when a thermal powered part got replaced by an electronic component. You do not need that blue Bosch Enigma box. I just want to brag about it. I just love it. A simple generic hand pump will do as well. Don't forget. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you around next time for another episode. Bye bye everyone.